right guys welcome back to the lgs channel hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far a lot to dive into and discuss in today's video as we've got new roster confirmations coming out from the emea scene some drama and rumors and leaks coming out from battlefy regarding phase and sweet dreams and all sorts of things tripods maybe even not invited to the pro league map rotation confirmations apparently that we need to discuss as well and moist esports also confirming their new roster going into lgs year four of course if you guys want to set the day all things apex legends esports related like the video subscribe to the channel without further ado let's go ahead and dive right into this first thing i wanted to make mention of basically i have i'm gonna be honest i have been working all day on apexglobalseries.com updating as new information comes out keeping things refreshed and here we go starting it off with roster change number one vex gaming announced first thing this morning that their new third player will be kinda now kinda obviously played from e6 lately and uh, i think a couple of months ago he had basically announced that they were not going to be teaming together anymore so kinda i want to say sat out on the last land and so basically he's been a free agent ever since kind has been kind of floating around and vex gaming decided to pick him up with unlucky and matafi as well so vex in my opinion does get a little bit of an upgrade here i think kind is a really good player also moist esports has confirmed their new roster for lgs year four mostly everyone knew this right we pretty much all saw this coming guild playing with moist esports and they also confirmed waltzy mt gildersons is going to be their roster for north america indeed yes we did pretty much know most of that information but it was confirmed by moist earlier now here's where the roster news drama leaks go crazy earlier today so esports gg another big prominent esport website article basically they had it something on the algs recently by tom you guys probably know tom tom's a very renowned writer for uh, esports.gg as well and also has been in the apex scene for quite some time he reported earlier that x phase was basically noted by battlefy so it seemed like phase was not going to be playing together right it's like phase dropped their roster what's going on maybe some people are sticking it out what's happening here well he reported that frex's phony snipe down were listed as x phase as the official team list and so this official team list he was talking about goes on to talk about all the teams invited uh you know you could see this right here you could see a massive list of all of these teams and on here now you see phase right basically the you know the cons you know consensus here is that they did update this article eventually to no longer say that so it eventually at one point said x phase and we were like oh my gosh they're gonna drop their entire roster this makes sense because people have been talking about them maybe leaving the esports scene well phony head obviously one of the pros over there responded to it and said this is news to me that's crazy and so shortly after it was confirmed that it was changed back and obviously that's where you got the new information after this whole list was talked about the tripods uh, also not invited confirmed to algs year for pro league and this was by tom once again he says the confirmation here is that tripods were not invited to algs pro league and you could see in this list here tripods is nowhere to be found of course some of these other guys as well and i think some of the list that goes out here that people were not discussing you of course you got meat lovers we already talked about but stallions secret formula and flat and ape gang a lot of these guys some of these people were not expecting those teams to be invited but we're expecting teams like e8 or maybe e even tripods as well of course that's not the case any longer now tripods are going to have to go through pro league qualifiers along with e8 to make this happen it was not only stopping there though he also noted tom once again bringing out all kind of crazy news and this is some banger news also sweet and nathan potentially reuniting for algs year four now going into this the reason that this was you know showing is once again from these lists you could see xnrg was under phase so xnrg would imply that sweet and nathan would stick together in some capacity says tom and the reason being is because obviously we know guild is already over at moist and in order i assume in order for nrg to keep this spot and by the way they wouldn't refer to them as xnrg because nrg isn't even around anymore nrg left the entire esports scene you wouldn't be really calling this xnrg with just sweet dreams in my opinion i think you'd be calling it xnrg with at least two people from the roster so i think that's why tom is saying that it implies that sweet and nathan are sticking together so that would be a crazy roster if it does turn out to be true of course third teammate who in the world could it be it's got to be a, a controller player obviously nathan and sweet are both mnk players unless Sweet decided to pull out the roller which i could not imagine but who are some third teammates that you guys could see teaming up with this roster also that would be some crazy news to say the least also this is where a lot of people are getting i guess their panties in a wad because the update for algs year four in the map announcement Earlier today, 
EA did release their official Pro League qualifier sign-up update stuff going on. And you could see from the article, not only the dates, not only when the times of these, uh, you know, obviously to be played, but also they say for these tournaments, the competition will take place on both World's Edge and Storm Point. As a reminder, you know, to be eligible for preseason qualifiers, your account's got to be level 50, blah, 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 goes on and on. And everybody was pointing this out. Everybody was underlining this and say, here we go. The official ALGS year four maps are going to be World's Edge and storm point once again now while no one really anticipates these maps to be taken out in any degree many people have also been basically assuming that we are getting one new addition to the map rotation for year four even people like nice week you know have made the, making those twitch clips saying that you know it is confirmed you know we're definitely 100 confirmed getting a new map we just don't know what map it is right that's the story of yesterday but now it's wondered are we going to be getting a new map after all what people are forgetting though because you also have you know madness tweeting this out praying that this means that we're keeping the rotation for pro league as well a lot of these pros don't want olympus and i don't blame them at all there's a lot of problems with olympus right now in its current state however one thing you got to remember is that while it's still unclear and while it's not been confirmed that olympus is out it's just been confirmed that world's edge and storm point are in for the pro league qualifiers it was not really likely that you would have this update happen to begin with until a map update happened on olympus right so it, it didn't seem like olympus would even be added until they you know brought it a little bit of a competitive update to make the pois better or the loot stronger whatever the case may be a lot of people are already wanting to see an update to olympus before it happened well the problem is pro league qualifiers start next month but pro league doesn't start until january we are getting a collection event next season and this obviously should be coming in december December and whenever it comes in December we could have a map update it's very possible so if pro league was going to be starting in January I know it's a little bit of a like crazy you know scientist chemist conspiracy theory kind of thing but if pro league starts in January we're getting a map update more than likely in December it could possibly be Olympus map update and that is probably when they would want to add the new map into the rotation anyways i couldn't imagine that they want to add current olympus into the rotation it would make more sense if they want to update the map first and then add it in so it would seem more likely that is possible 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 that they may look to look back into you know the past and say look that you know we got your feedback but now we want to add it since we made these updates we hope these changes are a little bit better so that's my assumption here obviously there's no concrete information on it quite yet other than this but i'm interested to see what you guys have to say about all the map rotation phase clan the roster rumors the news going around did battle 5 mean to do that was it just an honest mistake that they accidentally typed x phase or is it confirmed do you think that they're trying to leak some information that maybe something is going on with phase regardless i couldn't imagine phony not being in the loop obviously phony saying that was news to him to me that just confirms that it had to have been a mistake it had to have been an accident something surely was not correct interested to see what you guys have to say though down in the comment section below like the video if you guys did enjoy and subscribe if you want to set up today all things apex legends esports related and until the next time we'll see you all later gators